Hi everyone, this is Dave, also known as Loving Them Trains, and today we're going to um, take a look at my ceilings. Uh, if you can just take a look here, you can see, number one, I have backdrops, but also uh, there are clouds. Um, this uh, part of the wall above the backdrops was painted. Um, and clouds were added, but as I transition over here to the left, you can see that there are no clouds and that the color of the wall or the ceilings are not painted the same color. So my goal is to make that transition in this spot here and also uh, to add some clouds. Uh, not sure what my, my thinking was on this and why I haven't already done it, but as I get more uh, into the layout, I realize that that's definitely uh, taking away from the layout. So that's gonna be my goal. Uh, my goal also is to, like with this backdrop, which I love, to, uh, blend the end a little bit better uh, over time with just the tape method that I used uh, starting to see that I'm gonna keep going to the left I hope you're not getting dizzy and then uh, that that's not too bad or it looks worse on camera and uh, here's another area that also needs to be painted and have clouds added I'm gonna keep going, I hope you're not getting dizzy. And here. So these sections here uh, need to be painted to blend a little bit more. Um, as you go further up into the sky, the um, background gets a little more red mixed in with the blue uh, to give that darker, darker color that I'm looking for. Almost, um, I wouldn't say lavender, but it's going in that direction. This wall here already has the color I'm looking for, so I'll probably just do clouds here. Well, I got lots to do, so I'm going to put this camera down and I'm going to get started. All right, so disclaimer before I move forward. Once again, if you're starting a train room, please make sure you paint your walls before you do anything else. This has been such a hassle to try to go around all of the scenery and track and everything that I've done to do this. And I thought I could stand it, but I could not. So I had to tackle this so it wouldn't ruin it. But had I done things the right way from the beginning, this video probably would have been several years old and you probably would not see any bench work here. So do yourself a favor and make sure you don't do it the way I have. But with all of that being said and done, uh, here's the first section where I've painted the ceilings. Uh, and the goal was to blend them more into the backdrop, which I think I've accomplished. Not sure how well this is showing on camera. As uh, you get closer to the actual backdrop against the wall there, I did splotch on some more uh, blue that had a little bit more red in it, I th which is kind of what I see towards the top of the backdrop. So I think we're ready to move on to the next step in this section. But, um, Things are going pretty well, so I'm going to put the camera on the other wall so you can see what I've done there as well. Okay, so on this side, um, I've brought the red down from the ceiling, uh, the more red in the blue paint down from the ceiling, and also painted the lower section, and then I kind of wiped the two together uh, certainly not supposed to be a uh, clear blend. 
I know there are some techniques out there to do that. I actually want the hazy look or the uh, messy kind of look. And you'll see why that is later. But I'm very happy how uh, everything turned out. Uh, the blue um, coming from the ceiling doesn't blend in. Let me see if I can show you here. It's not the exact color um, as the backdrop or above the backdrop, but it's much, much closer. Um, and when you look at the sky, depending on where you're standing, uh, the color is not the same. So I'm um, trying to replicate that. Hopefully what I plan to do will come out um, as intended. So let me get back to work and I will show you the next step. All right, take a good look at this wall and those clouds and that atmosphere. I have to transfer that over to here. So this is my last wall. Let's see what the outcome is gonna be. All right, so here's an update uh, where I'm at right now with the wall. Nice start. Uh, I think what I want to do now is do a little bit more shading. Um, as you can see, there's some gray put in there. Um, also, I think I want to do a little bit of uh, lavender mixed in there. Uh, it kind of looks grayish more on on camera than it does when I take the camera away. But uh, And then um, some white. Uh, as I look at the backdrop the top has a little bit more of that lavender color in it and then as you get closer um, to the steel mill I see a little bit more cloud it's a little bit more white in there so uh, let's see what I can come up with all right so here we're back so what I did was um, add some of that lavender color that I see um, especially towards the top of the backdrop. And it came out pretty good. Um, at first, the lavender was just splotched on and uh, it was a little too strong. So I went back and muted it a little bit with the darker uh, blue color. And I think uh, that did the trick. Once again, I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera, but uh, I think it's coming out okay. So the last part of this is to go ahead and do some of those clouds, especially as you get closer to ground level. Okay, so here's the finished product with the ceiling. So as you can see, again, I brought the, the clouds into this section on the left here just so they continued and there was not a wall with nothing on it. So that gave me that continuity there. And then I just treated this section over here where the steel mill backdrop is as a scene divider kind of, I guess you could think of it like that. Uh, the walls, uh, vaulted ceilings and the way the walls are in this bonus room make it very tricky uh, as far as doing any type of painting of the walls. So I guess I had to use it as my advantage to create these scene dividers in this particular section. Um, originally I was gonna carry these clouds over into this section here, but it wouldn't have blended into this section, uh, the backdrop with the steel mill. So that was the decision that was made and I'm sticking with it at least for now. And for now, I'm okay with it. A lot of scenery that needs to go on now. Of course, you see the bridge is out because I had to climb up on the table many, many times, which I hate to do. So I needed to get that out of the way because once all of the scenery is in place, it's gonna be next to impossible to do it. 
All right, so let me uh, go to the other side and we'll go ahead and finish this video up. All right, finished up with the clouds. Uh, at the beginning, I had told you that I wanted that kind of messy, blurry kind of section in the middle where the lighter color met the darker color. And that was to give me those shadows uh, and that element of depth. Uh, I kind of think of glows from heaven when I see that. But I shaded in uh, the clouds to give them more depth and to give shadows as well. Uh, so I'm pretty, pretty good with that, how it comes off of the wall to the right and blends in. So there are clouds. The sky does continue. Now, what I also had to do in uh, doing the clouds and continue clouds uh, is I had to continue also this hillside from this photo backdrop. So we had to be creative with that and extend that. So I went ahead and extended that all the way across the back of the structures, the flats in the back and the hillside. Uh, these are just cutouts from backdrops I purchased and I uh, made good use with them uh, for this particular project. So I'm okay with it. Once again, these slanted walls uh, make, you have to be very creative with how you do uh, your backdrops. But I think under the circumstances, it came out okay. So I'm going to call this project complete. And I hope that you enjoyed going through uh, the video with me and watching what I did. And uh, there will be certainly more videos that will be coming out with more content. And I hope that you'll come back and vi visit the page. Thank you for watching. Bye.